and I mean, it's, I mean, so to a degree, you'd say that. Um, so you had. Do you think you had some relationship with depression before that? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And and it is what really took you out of it. The acting. Well, obviously, a bit of self work too in the process and yeah. self examination. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Also, also acting allows you to to understand yourself by by virtue of. Um, by virtue of understanding another human being. Mm. So if I'm playing Kaya, like, I really need to figure Kaya out. And then I'll know, like, what things me and Kaya share. And then I'll know who I am. Mm -hmm. But I work on so many other people, and I, I treat my work like a canvas. Like, I really want to put the work onto something and put it away from me, that I can also enjoy it. I feel like some actors get so immersed in the in the experience where they try to yo yeah I, I don't think an actor has to over inter intellectualize a performance <laughs> or you know put everything into it bro I'm an artist I really I'm really a splash and turn back and a mm -hmm. you know because I also like to, I'm quite dynamic. I like to, you know, I'm open to improv and like I'm a rapper, I freestyle, bro. So yeah. maybe halfway, I'm like, nah, let's go this direction, yeah. you know. So I, I, I treat the process like that. So I can't be fully immersed in it, mm -hmm. you know, because then there's that traveling time of going in and out, yeah. you know. So I, I, I do a lot of the groundwork before so that when I'm on set, I've got a bag of tools where I'm just throwing shit at the director and he's like, oh, that was that one. Mm, maybe not that one. Oh, remember that first one? Bring that one and this one, you know. Um, but yeah, like the, the acting, acting and I have, we've even recently, like now, <laughs> yeah. you know, like I, 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 I quit a job. I left a job. And one would think, you know, what are you thinking? Oh, well, I'm saying one would probably think like, yo, dude, you, he's screwed. You yeah. Know? And not really. Is it the job I think you're saying you quit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, I, the I, wife. I left the wife. Yeah. Oh, okay. I left the wife. All right. And can you imagine the wife being something that brings, brought me so Do you know much? how that is super brave because, um, there are so many people who get that kind of of, of opportunity mm. and they just stick with it. Mm. And to say, what made you say, I'll, actually, I'll quit. I I think that same idea, right? That same belief. Yeah. Like, I don't wake up saying the wife is going to bring me success. Yeah. I wake up saying, I'm going to be successful in Donam. Beautiful. When are they wife? When are they husband? Oh. When are they uncle? <laughs> you know and yeah. it's a pity it's a pity that like if things didn't work out the way it is because i would have loved to have finished it um yeah but i wasn't in space yeah i wasn't in the space so but also i also <clears throat> wanted to, to go back to that yeah so so to finish this you must finish this thought yeah but i also wanted to go back to saying that even now yeah Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Well, dude, we, we probably the, 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 the reason I left the, the show was I, that same, that same grace energy, it wasn't there, bro. And these people want to shoot. So I have two choices. Lie to all my supporters, right? Because when I, when, you, when people really connect to that thing, I also felt happy because I drew it from a real yeah, place. Yeah, because you're putting yourself. You know what I'm saying? Umkala yeah. is not easy, bro, mm. you know? And I did so much work before, like, I, we, were, yo, we were crazy, bro. I used to walk around with a, with a gun in, in my car, mm. you know, under the seat. For nuances, yeah. For nuances, mm -hmm. you know. Used to 
approach people on LinkedIn. I just see yeah. how. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I saw the I saw the swag. <laughs> <laughs> the, the text was swag. I put so much yeah. work into that character. Like you, don't, I really don't have to forget this, but yeah. There's a thing that everybody keeps talking about. And even me, I was like, when I first saw this, I was yeah. like, you know, you're out here playing this taxi driver. Yay, one day. Yay. What is this private school English? Here? <laughs> <laughs> what is up with this woman's English? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 and, and I mean, when it, what is very surprising, you grew up like a guy, you know, not in KZN. Yeah. And this is Rusako. Like, it's, I mean, okay, I, do the closet yeah but i was like that is our job <laughs> yeah yeah it's the character you know yeah yeah i know it's the character but i'm saying but you you the human being right yeah must learn that or oh, how i mean you, it's you're... an accent though yeah yeah it's okay. called put on an accent if you're talking in a british accent <laughs> Maybe if you want to talk in an American accent, yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, for me, uh, it, it was easy as that. So the the audition, my dad translated for me into like the the the, the words. Mm -hmm. It's like the deep Zulu words. Um, and then my dad helped me with episode one, two, and three. And then I was like, "Wait, Dad, stained glass, please translate this for me." And they they translated all the all the, the rest of the scripts for me. Okay. When I was there. Oh wait, the script is written in English? Yeah. The scripts are written in English. Santa Maria. Okay. Yeah, scripts are written in English. And I mean you saw what Abdul did with that character. That is that's wait, so so you so now you have to Yeah. Translate that for yourself. Well by season two I think I could, you know, like I used to get very anxious about hey guys, what's my script? Yeah. Um by season two when we in the thick of it, you know, uh, it was yeah, it was, it's already second nature. Yeah, and sorry, you said you and now you quit the job, and even now I want to go back to that. so, even now, right? One would, one would be like, for me, I'm looking at my life on the timeline. I'm like, you're dropping out again. Mm. You know, it's like UJ all over again, or it's like whatever part of my life all over again. Mm. But then. <laughs> You know, I, I got to work very soon after that. I was like, yo, maybe me and this thing have a bond. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. It's, it always calls you. Yeah. It's always, it's, and it's, it's like that. What is it? It's, it's the burning bush of Moses. Yeah, it stays on. Yeah, it's like, and it's, it's not, not to, not to give me things. Yeah. You know? to empower me to humble me mm -hmm. you know because you know, i i did a film right from, i did a film last year um which was a humbling experience it wasn't nice um it was a humbling experience bro we were it was my first like action movie oh the, the woman king nah fam. no not the woman king okay I got some for you, Doc. Oh, oh it's know. still coming. Yeah. Santa Maria. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. That was like my first. Oh, wait. Yeah. I'm taking a wild guess. I'm going to take a wild guess. Okay. Is it an international movie? No. Oh. Oh, because okay. it's not international. No. Damn it. I thought it was a Tom Cruise movie. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was Mission Impossible. No, no, no. Um, they had rap by the time we started. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Damn it. I wish I was right. <laughs> To, so I, I I got taken out of that into a humbling experience where I would say with the wife and I could feel with the Safta slowly like a sense of it is inevitable yeah it is inevitable like you know the sense of 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 um I want to say um Oh, it's it started to feel easy and that what feeling, the role the role okay and then that that then inspires a certain attitude to the work and after not long you're not going to be specific about the role you're going to treat the work like that mm -hmm. right so and for plus now my heart was in there i was not ready to go back to that nigga. like do you do psychedelics 
No. So, day weekend before I start shooting, right? I down a bunch of mushrooms. Okay, I'm, I'm tripping mushrooms once. I'm tripping <laughs> <laughs> once. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I down a bunch of mushrooms, right? I'm fucking tripping the fuck out. And I see him clearly right there. I see him, bro. He's got his back to me. He turns back, he looks at me. I was like, let's go to work, bro. And we started shooting the Monday. The feeling of creating that man with that man. I honestly feel like Nkhele left me. Mm. He was like, I'm not here anymore for you. And I, I, I believe it's got to do with the process, the, the, the way he's packaged, you know. I think season one had a lot of intentionality and season, you know, a bit of season two. But, you know, if Nkele was in the room at the, <laughs> at the story Bible readings, he'd walk the fuck out. <laughs> you know, I, I believe or or I, I, I got the sense because it something didn't inspire didn't spark it the way it used to. It used yes. to. Yeah. And then for then and then that feels like my service here is done, right? Mm -hmm. Um and I say my service as as that particular interpreter. Because now the there is there is another actor who can carry it further or into a different tone mm -hmm. or into that different direction right. Shade. yeah it's just art bro mm. you know i'm grateful for for wiseman you know um that we could as artists it's like a world cup bro one one country has it one year then okay. the next year yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. What, what what i'm happy is that the characters live longer than us beautiful beautiful